well I thought I'd stop today and have a quick look at this seat um, like I said it's been slowly collapsing let's have a quick look what's happening here as you can see oh look starting to rain see the spit snow coming on the bonnet typical in it black cloud up there hopefully that's just going to be a quick shower so I can have a look at this uh, obviously this seat is a bit ripped and stuff I know that I did get them seats if you remember which says they're from out of a mini pity they weren't leather but they're not they're cloth seats they're not the best but I was thinking of chucking them in George like I've said a thousand times George is a rat moggy anyway so I'm not bothered too much as long as it's safe and comfortable um, I think they will go in I might have to do some modification to them to get them in but first of all I thought I'd have a look and just see whether I can bodge this up for now just in case they don't fit or I'd end up not having enough time so as I'm sitting I'm gradually sinking in this one and I've just noticed there's a well I've seen this a while actually there's a plank of wood a piece of plywood or something shoved underneath the straps strap is broken here which looks like it's been broken a while there was a piece of rope hanging here and I cut it off I'm guessing that went along the back here to hold that in place so got a couple of options really repair this seat for now or see if I can dig out the other seat from in the shed see if I can get that to fit it's usually only a couple of bolts in the floor there it is look simple job I need to do some from dinner just for the time being I think let's see what I can do with it to stop it sagging when I'm sitting on it yeah I'm gradually getting lower and lower in this seat have a poke around I'm guessing that piece of wood can slide forward it's not particularly a comfy seat anymore I suppose it won't be with a hunk of wood underneath your bum I'll even need to push that forward and get some string or rope or something and tie that back in place I might be able to remove it completely and maybe fix this strap or just use some rope like I say I'm gonna have a tinker with it and see what I can come up with yeah just straps far more straps than there is on here and look how they've stretched and sagged and this back one is actually broken so there's, there's the piece of wood I've managed to hook it up underneath the back rim probably going to fall when I sit on it but I'm just going to have a sit just to see how that feels I think I felt like it collapsed straight away yeah I'm sinking again so I need to find a way of either keeping that up or taking the seat out completely I have got a couple of hours should I whip the seat out yeah, let's see if the bolts will undo easy with the CEO. Then I'll be able to repair it easier. And we'll have a look what would be needed to fit the other seat. I'm going to dig that out as well. So to remove these seats, it's just four bolts. This little lap what goes over. Um, they're either a half inch, 13, maybe even a 14. Should be a half inch, I think. So I've got half inch on this socket. Don't quite fit, does it? And this one's got 13 too. 13 millimeter bits better than half inch. You'd thought the half inch would have fitted lovely, wouldn't you? Hey ho, who cares? Find a spanner that fits, use it. So 
you see what I've got to do, just take these four bolts out, got spring washers on them, and then that will lift out of there. Probably going to use that without the extension on for that one. Probably see. Simple enough job to get it out. I might do the whole hog and whip this carpet out while I'm here for now because they are filthy and plus I can then check the floors and maybe even paint it before I put them back. Why not eh? Feel like you achieved something then don't you? Come on, nearly there. That's the same thing, look. Just that bracket. And that seat is three this side. It's just the same with the other one. Right, I'll continue with that. And I'll show you when I got it out. So, so that's the bolts out. So you know the seat is free. You can just come away. Look at the state of this carpet. Now I may have put these bolts in here. They might have been the ones in, obviously, when I took them out. But what I'm saying is, I put these carpets in here, brand new. Probably, like I said, eight, nine years ago. So, I've obviously put them bolts in. They might have been out after that, when he repaired the seat. Who knows? Right, I'm going to lift the seat out of place now. So that was nice and easy, just them four bolts. Now, some people are saying, no, you've got to keep that original. So you can see here what he'd done. He put this piece of wood, wedged it under the front lip and under the back. But obviously, as soon as you sit on it, that just flicks back out again. Like I said, there was a piece of rope. Don't know where that went. That was obviously tied somewhere here to keep that up. I don't know what that is, maybe an old seat cover or something I had on at one time. So I can repair this seat, or I could, like I said, I'm going to dig out that other seat while I'm at this stage, and we'll just sit it in there and just see what modification that will need for me to put it in. I'll go and find it now. There's one, as you can see, they've got a mini label on them. Now I'll give them a darn good clean, but because they've been in this shed, for a few months now with a load of stuff on top of them there's the other one like I say they were under loads of stuff so I'll get that one out um, I can always give them another clean once they're fitted or before I fit them if I don't fit them today Rightio, like I said I got these seats for free um, they look a bit grubby but they're going to be more comfortable than the one we've got now. Just got to work out which one's what. I think this one's a driver's seat with a seat belt fitting that side, which I'll probably remove. Um, yeah, let's get them into the garage and get one to the car and have a look. So I've got this one out towards the car now. I know one thing, this is a darn sight heavier than that one. So what I'm going to do is just drop it in place at a minute and just see how that will work sitting on the floor. Just check the heights of them. Let's put this one over. Hmm, I thought that was going to be too low but I don't think that's going to be bad. Let's see if that will fit in place. You can notice straight away is that the floor of this is higher here than it is here, so it's not going to sit level. So I'm definitely going to have to build the back up with something. And also, I know he had these old carpets, I don't really like them, but I've just left them in. Like I said, I ain't done much to this since I've had it. 
he also had these bits of wood underneath where the seat because it folds forward like that one was sitting on underneath the carpet or well, under the carpet underneath this mat maybe he thought the floor was a bit weak and that would push through maybe so what I'm going to do now is remove uh, these carpets and we'll have a look see where it's been repaired not by me that one I don't think yeah that ain't that bad by the looks but that could be fairly thin right I'll put the camera down for a minute and I'll whip this carpet out have a bit of a tidy up so there's the carpet out floor doesn't seem that bad to be honest definitely no holes in it it's definitely going to sound a bit more tinnier without carpets in so I might just um, well I might as well take them all out they can always go back later there's no speaker in the back so whether the guy was intending to put one in I'm not sure but they all need cleaning and re-gluing there's the inner sills, they're all good, just how I remember them, I'm going to take all this carpet out. Well this side, I know it's rusty underneath but nothing's through, they may have been replaced at some time, who knows. Some of the screws are missing out of this plate. Um, that might have been me, there's one underneath here which should be on the top but that's nothing to worry about neither I'm going to leave that bit for now because it's underneath this piece here what holds the gear stick in well it doesn't hold the gear stick in, it's just holding the gator really around the gear stick and that won't come off without taking those screws it might clean up in there or it might have to come out yeah it's definitely god knows what that is a bit of a chrysalis of some kind but the floor's not rotten through I might give that a clean and put some more paint on it this rust here is probably where I wet feet getting in the car all the time in the winter So where do these go? Just to nowhere I'm guessing. Yeah, nowhere. Um, do I want them? Am I going to put speakers in the back? Not really. Don't really need them. The radio does work. But it's got front speakers. I might just, uh, just cut them off. I don't need new speakers in the back and even if I did at a later date quite simple to put some more wiring in into it yep I'll cut them off and then I'll get on with what I'm doing sweep around with a brush and dust pan look at all that what's just there and I have discovered something else if you look here bit crusty here so that's going to need a repair in there and that is right where the rear the rear spring hanger is well it goes that way so I do need to strengthen this up I'm not going to do that today but it's a good reason to have the carpet out and leave it out for the time being until I've done any repairs I was going to go underneath it and give it a go another you remember the back but like everything else the more you poke around the worse I'll get and we'll sort that one out later I'll give it slightly more of a clean out but there's nothing I can do now I will need doing and I will do it but at the immediate time there's no danger danger so we'll leave that well alone and try and sort out this seating 
obviously that's not fitted in any way. I've just sat it in the car to see what it looks like. Might tip over, let's have a sit. I'll tell you what, it's very comfortable. I definitely I definitely need to try and fit this seat in somehow. So I'm gonna have a bit more fettle and see what I can do. I'm gonna like these seats in here, but to fit them in is gonna be a bit of fettling to do. One, because it's launched back, I'm gonna to have to build the back up so that they can sit to the floor and lift the back up. So it's gonna need some adjustments, something made for the back. And the front is also gonna to have to come up a touch because Hang on, let's go around the other side. Right, if we look at it from here, you can see where this prop shaft comes, where it's angled up on the centre. So it's going to be against there, so it's definitely going to come up level with that. If I can get that level, then that seat will slide backwards and forwards. Obviously that seat will fold down so I can get the dog in the back. So I'm guessing what I'm going to have to do is find something to fit to the floor there and then to this frame. Maybe a piece of flat bar across, a piece of box section. So that's not going to be a quick fix but I think they will go in. I think they look all right and they definitely feel all right so them seats will be going in but not today it's a bigger job than I thought so what I'm gonna have to do is repair that other seat get back in for now and then work out how I'm gonna make some sort of lifting brackets for this one and it's going to sit slightly higher, not much higher. And I'm lucky for me, I'm not very big, but someone who's really tall, then they probably wouldn't be no good. Right, let's try and repair the other seat and get that in. Look what I've just found in the shed. A piece of channel with turned edges. Might be able to use that across the front. might just be high enough if I can what the plan is is to cut this and fix it to here and then I can put the drill some holes there to bolt on the original bolt holes on the floor and then make something for the back what do you think is it going to be thick enough can't really tell. I'm going to have to cut that down before I can even tell, aren't I? Let's do that now. Let's see. Measure that across the seat. Somewhere there. Keep your thumb there, boy. Magic. Here we have it. Let's see if that'll fit. So obviously, that's not fixed in place, but this is what I've got in mind. Maybe weld this to there into there, bolt the front through the floor there, the back is obviously up on a piece of wood at the minute, but I will make some sort of bracket which will actually go under here to the frame because that is my runner, what runs through there, so that can be a bit lower actually early stages in the thinking yet let's see if I can make a few alterations with that wood you'll get what I'm gonna do at some point now I'm guessing you can see what I mean that hold it at the front bolted through the floor through the normal bolts and then where that piece of wood is now, I'll make another bracket going down to the floor. Let's see if I can actually sit on this now. 
and see how it all is. Could be interesting. I'm holding it in place with my hand on it so we don't tip back. Apart from I'm sitting a bit close, I think that's basically going to be it. What's the difference between the seats? Yeah, they're sitting back a bit. Let's see if I can uh, the seat back a touch. There we go. Wiggle me bum back a bit. Yeah, that'll be fine. Obviously, I'm sitting a bit higher, but that's nice. I like it. That's just going to be the plan. This is going to be somewhat of the plan I'll be doing. Like you see, I'm going to rock back in a minute because it's not fastened anywhere. But I might even then be able to move the seat backwards and forwards on the runners. I might just try that now and see what happens. Might be tempting fate here, but let's give it a go. Oh, hang on, I can pump it down. That's better just at that. So it's got like a pump action so it can bring it up and forward or down and back. That is about right. I think I'm going to go with that. But like I've said, it's obviously not going to be now. That's a plan for the future. But you can see what I've got in my mind. Right. Let's get that other seat prepared and get it in before either it rains or my time runs out and I need to get away and I need the seat in. Obviously I've got to do some fettling with this seat to get it to fit in the car. I ain't got time now. So I've been repairing this seat. And remember that old speaker wire I said was no good. I was going to chuck it away. Well, it's come in handy. Look. That's done a great repair or a bodge on the seat for now. So I'm gonna get this seat back in the motor. So it's basically how it was before. And but with the seat in place, I can still use the car while I'm sorting out these other seats at a later date. So as if by magic, the old seat is back in. Let's see what happens when we sit on it. Wow. Hard as a blinking rock that is, but hey oh, it's in. Just need to bring it forward. Just do that now. A little pin under here. That should be it. Let's try that. That's better. That's about it. So, back to normal now, how it was before. Apart from I'm not falling through the seat. Um, this video will have to be um, a part two or resumed. So, we will sort the seat out at another date. But at the moment, I found a hole in the floor I need to be fixed. So that can be done at the same time as sorting out this seat. And then of course there'll be the passenger seat as well. So I'm going to leave this video here. I know I ain't achieved much, but thanks for watching. If you want to see if I can get the other seat to fix or fit in George, then why not subscribe? Please like and share, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.